Zachary, did you read the comments that Tamura Morrison said about the Book of Boba Fett and the Mandalorian? If so, what are your thoughts? So if you're not familiar with what he's talking about, the actor who plays Boba Fett was just very blunt and honest about his frustrations with the show Book of Boba Fett as well as Mandalorian Season 3. And to summarize it very shortly, he said... He was supposed he was told he was going to be in Mandalorian season 3 and then he never got a call. And he was kind of annoyed that they gave him his own show and then it deviated off into being two episodes of The Mandalorian for a couple of episodes. And so when you put those two things together like wait a minute, you kicked me out of my own show and made him the star of my show for two episodes and then you told me I was going to be in his show a little bit and then you never gave me a call. That's annoying. That kind of sucks. And what do I make of it? Um, his honesty is refreshing. Anytime an actor doesn't play politics, isn't concerned with appeasing people, it's always fun to just get really honest, open takes. I think we all know that Lucasfilm is not entirely stable. There's a lot of competing visions, voices, all of us thought it was weird. We as the audience thought it was weird that two episodes of Book of Boba Fett were dedicated to the Mandalorian. And it's even stranger that when you get to Mandalorian Season 3, the star of the season is, and who has the biggest arc is really Bo-Katan. And the third episode of the season is about two random side characters. So Book of Boba Fett, we put two Mando episodes in there that is Star Mando. Then we get to Mandalorian Season 3, and it's about a bunch of other characters, and Mando's kind of a side character. It's weird. Something odd is going on over there. And we all know it. We can all recognize it. And one of the actors is kind of saying what we're thinking as someone in the middle of all of it. Like, they like they told me I was getting my own show, and then all of a sudden there's these other two things, and then they told me there was going to be in this, and then it never happened. It's annoying. It's frustrating. I, I I don't take it as much more than that. I mean, I don't have like an angle or a take on it other than it's refreshing. If you read interviews with him, he's pretty blunt. I mean, he's like in his 60s and just kind of one of these guys that's been a working actor for a long time. He's never been like the leading man, but I mean, he's in Star Wars, obviously. He's in Aquaman. He's been in a bunch of different things. And so it just kind of talks like someone that occasionally... He's not used to being the guy that has to be political. He's not the guy that is used to um, trying to maintain his A-list because he's never been there. And so then he kind of gives real blunt, honest answers, and that's refreshing. So I don't know if that answers your question in a, in a way that is particularly satisfying, but um, I think it just kind of confirms what all of us are kind of feeling about all of this too, that no one really knows what's going on over there. It's kind of <laughs> crazy and chaotic. Most of these clips are pulled from my weekly Patreon live stream. Join at any level and you can join the chat and ask all the questions you want. That's for as little as $2 per month. For $5 per month, you can get your name on my end card. For $25 per month, you can have a monthly video chat with me. Link is in the description for more details and keep talking movies and TV too much.